All right, let's talk capacity. These two batteries, there are portable solar generators. And both of those together combined equal 100 amps. They're in parallel. The center batteries, they are four 12 volt cell lithium batteries. All four of these in series add up to be 48 volt 100 amps. The one on the right, the home energy system is just one unit, one 52 volts, 100 amps. The commonality between all of these batteries is their nominal capacity, which is 100 amps. Despite their different designs, manufacturers, the capacity means that all under the conditions of the battery, each battery can deliver 100 amps, amperes for one hour, or 50 amperes for two hours, or so on. The capacity is measured of energy storage capacity. And across all of these battery types, they store and deliver energy at the same rate in terms of amperes per hour. So over time, these systems are the same. When we talk about output power, I'll show you the differences. In terms of output power, it's not a fair fight. These batteries aren't, are all quite the same. The portable solar generators have an inverter, while the DC batteries are just batteries. All right, now we made an even fight. So with the 12 volt batteries having a 2000 watt output inverter, they now match that portable solar generator. See, a portable solar generator is an all-in-one type of system. It houses the battery and also the inverter all in the same system. While these other standard models have much larger battery capacity, they do not have a inverter that's built in. So you have to get that secondary. As you can see, the 12 volt battery, we added the Tyco Run 2000 watt inverter, which matches the portable solar generator. And for the home energy storage, we have the GrowWatt inverter that matches with the UZ battery. The GrowWatt has the largest inverter output coming in at 3,500 watts, while the Tyco Run is in third at 2,000 watts and a portable solar generator is right around 2,400 with a peak output of 5,000. So what we have here is all the systems are completely the same. You have your outdoor system, you have your home storage system, and you have your smaller outdoor large energy storage and small outdoor small storage. Although these batteries share the same capacity of 100 amps, their voltage differences are there. The 12 volt Tyco Run batteries, if you add them all up, they'll equal to 48 volts. If you have the portable solar generator, that one also has a 48 volt output, while the UZ has the 52 volt output. The higher voltage system like UZ energy battery provides more total energy and are better suited for applications with high power whereas the low voltage systems like the Tyco Run battery and also the portable solar generator are more suited for small scale energy storage.